Oh shit, here we go again. A warm welcome to all my vegoons and vegals. Back by popular demand, here's me sat on the sofa browsing Reddit, just talking to myself and calling it YouTube content. I hope you will enjoy. Today let's spice things up a bit. I'm not just going to scroll down the front page looking for vegans being downvoted for being right. I'm not going to visit just one particular sub again either. Nah, let's add some variety. Nine subs, some vegan, some very much not. Let's poke our heads in and see what treats they have on offer. Where though should we start? I think we'll start in the neutral row. How about... r slash or. Begin things with a bit of cuteness before it gets weird later on. Let's dive in. So here we are at r slash or. Things that make you go aww, like puppies, bunnies, babies, and so on. A place for really cute pictures and videos, with 28 and a half million members. 40,000 online right now. I wonder how many of them are vegan. I'm sure we're gonna find out. My god, look at these babies. This post is, how could you still eat bacon after seeing how cute pigs are? Oh, alright, let's see what we got. Have you seen a 500 pound pig? Not so cute. Oh, yeah, that's fine then. Not so cute, let's just kill them. The same way you eat other cute animals. Start with the loins. Oh, so edgy, mate. Crispy. When you know that boars attack pregnant mothers to cause them to miscarry their litters because they want to mate some more, the cute factor goes away real quick. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But, I don't know also, is he kind of implying if someone, a human, attacks a pregnant mother and they miscarry, he wants to then eat that person? Cow brings baby over to show it off to owner. Ugh, yuck. Don't like that word, owner. I was worried about you yesterday. Pretty good. Alright, well this should be interesting. Let's go take a look. Best, shut up, we want controversial. Because the poor cow doesn't know she and the baby will get slaughtered soon. Damn, this is actually like really quite upvoted. This being controversial means loads and loads of people downvoted it, but it looks like the vegans won out in the end. And someone replied, these are egg laying cows, which is kind of funny, but then it also doesn't make sense because egg laying chickens are slaughtered as well. Videos like this make me want lab meat to be a thing sooner rather than later. Just, just literally don't put cow flesh in your mouth. You don't need it grown in a lab, just don't do it. I need to hug them both. Yeah, I think everyone in the sub would like to. I think everyone should also want to save them as well. Ah, thank you for introducing your newborn to me. I think I'll slaughter you both now. But first, give me all your milk. This sub's actually not bad, you know. They were bad on the bacon one, but they seem to like cows quite a bit. Okay, so this is really weird. So, so, so many of these comments have been removed by the moderators of this subreddit. So we can't see what they were, but all the ones that have been replied to, we can very easily see what the subject was. So we can see here, comment removed by moderator, and someone has said for real? Fuck yes, so it sounds like a, a good thing. Here we have, hit me up if you want recommendations for vegan products, happy to talk. So it sounds like this was a comment of just some, someone saying like, that's it, uh, I'm gonna go vegan now. And that was removed by the moderator. Comment removed by moderator, so can't see what it was, but the reply was, and don't pay for their enslavement either. So they're probably saying, don't pay for these animals to be killed, something along those lines. Here, this comment's still up, it's a shame how humans treat these animals. The reply was removed by moderator. And then, but they were replied to again, I agree, we shouldn't eat animals regardless of their quality of life before they were killed. So whatever the moderator removed, it was just saying, there's no reason for us to, to kill these animals, something along these lines. I think we've just discovered that the moderators of this sub are anti-vegan twats. 
Okay, so it's time to move on to another subreddit. I'm just gonna get this one out of the way. I promise what I'm about to make you endure, it won't take long, so just stick with me. Let's get together and eat some cheese. How else will I get my calcium? Eggs and cheese and eggs and some more cheese. Eggs and cheese. I love cheese. Also, don't you tell me where my food comes from. Eggs and cheese. I just want to do as I please. This salad needs cheese. Is this enough cheese? Eggs and cheese. Cheese is so yummy. I love eggs and cheese And I will consume just what I please Also fuck the bees Animals exist for my greed Just give me more eggs and cheese <laughs> Okay, so we visited a sub from both the neutral row and the evil row So I think it only makes sense that we go to the good row next How about we visit Vegan Martyr? Vegan Martyr. About community. Speaking up for the animals on Reddit could be emotionally exhausting. R slash Vegan Martyr is a community to help and support fellow vegans in their opposition to animal exploitation. And as you can see, this is quite a small community, but it's a good one nonetheless. Feeling bad for your family because you drank milk straight from the carton. Drinking all of it so you don't feel bad. Feeling bad for the calf, separated brutally from his mother so you could drink that milk. What's the amazing response? No. Murder is never ethical. Downvoted for some reason. Meat is not murder. Then what do you call the unnecessary killing of sentient creatures? I'm lactose intolerant and I still drink milk. Having to shit five times a day is a small price to pay for strong bones. Oh my god. You don't need milk for strong bones. The bigger price to pay is the immense suffering your choice to drink milk is putting on the poor cows who live miserable, short, violent lives. Can you stop? My comment was removed from r slash healthy food because of a rule obviously made because of vegans. Dietary activism, Lamau, what the fuck. Chicks are ground up alive in the egg industry, standard practice, and eggs, bird periods, are very unhealthy on top of that filled with cholesterol, etc. Removal reason, dietary activism issue. The milk from a mother cow is weird. Plant milks are delicious and better for kids than something mean for a baby cow. Go fuck a tree, hippie. Look at the disparity here. This is what this sub is about. It just shows how horrible it is to be a vegan on Reddit. I only find hurting an animal acceptable if it's in self-defense or your pet is attacked by a bigger predator. 57 upvotes. Do you find it acceptable for dairy, eggs, meat? 40 downvotes. You can't even start a conversation. People are just like, ooh, vegan. Hit that down arrow and move on. And also, the Ten Commandments are talking about murdering people, and also, there's no commandment that says, Thou shall be vegan. There is no commandment that says, Thou shall not beat dogs. So it's probably okay to beat dogs. Anyone ever found a body? What's that like? Shit, every time I go to the supermarket. It sucks because there are some sick fucks who purchase them just to turn them into turds. Reminder, posts featuring animal cruelty or death are not allowed in this sub. If you see them, please downvote and report them. Also remember that if you eat meat or animal products, you are paying for animal cruelty and death. If you don't like seeing it, then maybe don't buy it. This screenshot was taken way too early. Bless your soul, Tofu Scrofula, whatever that means. You probably got some real hate for that one. Okay then, now let's flip it over. We'll go from good back into evil. I think we'll go to our carnivore next. Obviously we've been there before, so we'll just poke our heads in and see what the new posts are saying. How often should I poop? Wait, wait, wait. I swear not every post and comment I'm gonna look at is about poop again. It, it, this literally, this was right at the top. Honestly, I can go days without pooping. 
and my whole life people have been saying I should go every day. Well, what if I don't need to? I feel perfectly fine, but I'm starting to wonder if I should start worrying. I don't think there is any issue with not pooping. From a logical perspective, if you are eating what your body requires and it is very little that it isn't trying to absorb, why would you have poop? No, I have ADHD, would this be beneficial for schooling? Of course! Why do people go to Reddit for this kind of advice? Oh, this is disgusting. Has anybody used grass-fed beef tallow from the store as lotion? I am attempting to make my own sunscreen by just mixing zinc oxide with tallow, but I'm wondering about the spreadability of just store-bought tallow like Epic makes, or maybe I need to add monosaturated fat like olive oil to make it rub in easier. Dude, why? Why? How often do fellow carnivores poop? Nope, no. Nope. Mum against it. How do I convince her? So I live with my mum and I've been trying the carnivore diet. My mum noticed and says I'm going to die and that she's lived for 50 years and won't watch me give myself a heart attack. I am 20 and I'm about 30 pounds overweight. I've done research into it and I watch a lot of low carb down under Dr. Ken Barry and a few others. That sounds like some top notch research. She won't accept videos, so what are some good studies about cholesterol, carbs, etc? She says I'll die if I don't eat carbs. If you go on PubMD, there are literally thousands of studies about the impacts of a high cholesterol diet on the human body. Your mum knows what she's talking about. Sleek blade. Stop it! This post is just sad. It just says, I feel amazing after eating lamb more than any other meat. It's grass-fed from New Zealand. Anyone else experience similar and can explain? It's got 83 upvotes. 45 comments as well. It's, it's just people saying, oh, I love eating lamb. Do you know what? The other day, I actually walked a baby lamb at a, uh, a sanctuary, an animal sanctuary. And I just cannot imagine the the horror and the the twisted mentality needed to stab him to death for no reason, just because you like how you feel after you've eaten his body. I need to jump back out of Carnival. Let's go somewhere else. Now I'm thinking late stage carnism will be a good one to look at next because it's. It's an oddly specific sub, isn't it really? So yeah, let's take a look. Late stage carnism is about exposing the hypocrisy of carnism in its final years as the dominant ideology. Carnism is defined as the prevailing ideology in which people support the use and consumption of animal products. Carnism is the dominant belief system supported by a variety of defense mechanisms and mostly unchallenged assumptions. Central to carnism is the acceptance of meat-eating as natural, normal, necessary, and sometimes nice. Fun fact, bestiality laws have to have specific exemptions added so that farmers can continue to legally masturbate animals and forcibly impregnate them. Vegans are fucking weirdos, right? Actual photo of humane slaughter at my uncle's farm. Look at that. A tribute to my favourite animal. Yeah, what the fuck is right? Vegan extremists are taking over Hollywood. This is the plant-based meal being given to all guests at the Golden Globe Awards this year. No option with meat at all. No choice. Welcome to Hollywood in 2020 where vegan extremists rule. That is absolutely hilarious. Also, I hate when carnists talk about no choice. Like, they literally never, ever, ever give the animals a choice. They're just like, I'm, I'm just going to kill you no matter what. Outraged shopper sees chicken foot in a packet of chicken breasts. And they've called this, there's a corpse in my corpse. That is some late stage carnism right there. Watching all the political blame shifting and finger pointing for COVID-19. Yeah, this pretty much sums it up. I still don't understand why anyone would go vegan with all the info out there. <laughs> oh, Dylan. Oh, Dylan. People worried about 5G towers but don't question Burger King selling 10 nuggets for 
Imagine thinking that a cow begging for its life is a charming mascot. Is this an actual Chick-fil-A mascot? Like, f for real? Is, is this how they advertise? Oh, it's our boy, Sverage. Sucking on testicles with my boy while we talk about how gay soy boys are. The video. Eating raw veal testicles with Elaine. That is amazing. Sverich has he's got to be the poster child of late stage carnism, right? He's when you go too far off the other scale, you're either you're either gonna go vegan or you you're gonna go hard the other way because you're a stubborn ass. I work on a dairy farm, so I figured I'd honor our bull and get a septum piercing. And then a vegan's come along and fix that for you. I abuse cows for a living, so I decided to make fun of them. Killing a vegan a day keeps them away. Three awards, almost 400 upvotes. A real ad in 2020, and I've seen this one as well, I saw it on social media. Eat skin to save the salmon. This is just beyond messed up. This is a, a cheese stick, like dairy cheese. It says on it, cows are social animals and they naturally form large herds. Like you, they make friends, which is very true. Like cows are very social animals. They have like best friends. They, they also might even have some cows that they dislike. You know, they're very like us in, in the way that they form bonds with one another. To put that on the product that if you buy this product, you are paying for those beings to be exploited. You're paying for them to be killed. Late stage carnism. There's nothing else to say about it. So we're past the halfway point now. I think it's time we got our slash vegan out of the way as it's been staring us in the face being sat there in the middle. So you might be thinking, why would this sub have been put in the neutral row instead of the good row? Well, I don't know what post we're going to see today, but hopefully I can find the reason why. There's actually uh, a big problem with r slash vegan um, and the kind of people that come here, so I'll try and show you that if I can. If you think vegans are easily offended, try telling a meat eater you made chicken wings out of cauliflower. May I have a plastic bag? Already inside! Did you know you can love kids and still beat them? No, no, wait, that's not it. You can love women and still abuse them? Shit, wait, that's still wrong. You can love animals and still eat them? Phew, better. For a second, I almost sounded hypocritical. I used to think vegans were weird based off the stuff I saw on them. I then became one and have improved my life in every way and realized we live in a beyond fucked up world. All right, people watching this video, let me know if this is you. If you used to think vegans were weird or extreme and now you are one and you think everyone else is, I need to know because that's certainly been my experience. Someone who's been vegan for three years with no problems. Someone who went vegan for two days and almost died. Now this right here, this is an example of what I meant when I said there's problems. The problems are always in the comments, it's not normally the posts. I'm not vegan, I have no intention to quit eating meat, but I buy vegan products to reduce my meat consumption, and I was never reached by the all or nothing vegans. That's genuinely awesome, dude! I appreciate folks who buy vegan products, increasing the demand and making them more readily available for everyone. Fortunately there was one person here with their head screwed on. Him, I have no intention to quit eating meat. You, that's awesome, dude. What the fuck? And, I shit you not, this sub is its full of stuff like this, it's full of apologists and pick me vegans and vegans who eat eggs, well, you know, people who call themselves vegan who eat eggs and people who say uh, horse riding is absolutely fine and yeah, it's just, it's just not a great place because anyone that comes to the sub looking for information, they're going to be completely confused on the animal rights message. Three subs left. I think it makes sense to go straight from vegan into anti-vegan, don't you? r slash anti-vegan is a place to share and discuss content that opposes the ideology of veganism. We are a community of omnivores, carnivores, ex-vegans, vegetarians and pescatarians. Food porn, recipes, news and nutrition articles, stories, rants and humour are all welcome. Their sub banner is quite literally just flesh. Guys! I think there's a dead body there! Chicken. 
Like if you like to eat dead animal flesh, because I sure fucking do. Humans thousands of years ago. I just butchered three mammoths and ate their flesh raw. Modern humans. I only eat grass because eating meat is mean. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's just do exactly what our ancestors did. When a vegan sees you eating beef and sarcastically asks if you would eat a person, the law requires that I answer no. So, the answer is yes. Okay. How vegans think animals die in the wild. I actually think a better version of this meme would be how carnists think animals die at the slaughterhouse. Again, more ancestor worship. I've never seen a cave drawing of a salad. We eat meat! We're the only species that drinks milk after infancy. Dairy is bad for you. We're also the only species that drinks peach, mango, pineapple, spirulina, kale smoothies, Karen. Let me eat my cheese in peace. How about you let the cows live their lives in peace? Do you think Karen saying something to you is as unpeaceful as what happens to cows at the slaughterhouse for your cheese? Vegans. If Jesus was real, he'd be vegan. Jesus who used fish to feed thousands of people. Oh, okay, this is a great anti-vegan argument. Let's ruthlessly slaughter all of our fellow animals, cause them immense suffering, because Jesus though. I don't even know what this one means. This community, they're mental. Vegans killing animals. Vegans killing a human instead of an animal. Dude, we also don't eat humans. They're animals as well, you know. Vegans be like, oh my god, I had a vegan lobster and I couldn't even tell the difference. Okay, admittedly this one is a little bit funny. Alright, just two left now, and I'm saving the best for last, so right now we're going to head on over to Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit is the place to ask and answer thought-provoking questions. Thought-provoking questions, eh? Let's go top. All time. People haven't pooped in 2019 yet. Why are you still holding on to last year's shit? Okay, well we're here for the juicy stuff. What is your opinion about veganism and why? I personally don't care what others do. Ignoring the weird comma, that's still probably one of the most absurd things I've read today and that's coming from anti-vegan and carnivore as well. Because I'm pretty sure if someone like broke into this guy's house and started punching him in the face, he'd be care what that person was doing. To each his own, either way can be healthy or unhealthy depending on how you go about your eating. This is so annoying that people think veganism is a diet. It's the moral baseline when it comes to the treatment of animals. Nobody should contribute to unnecessary animal cruelty. Everybody should be vegan. As long as they aren't trying to force anyone to be vegan, let them do their own thing. How would you force someone to be vegan, follow them around all the time, like slapping cheeseburgers out of their hands? Next question, what would make you consider going vegan? If all livestock contracted some Ebola type shit disease. Okay, if there's any evil vegan scientists watching this video, you know what to do. Potential medical benefits, how selfish. I'd do it for a hot blonde with double D's. Stop it. Get some help. Vegan food that tasted nice. Um, excuse me, as a goal, I'm just going to introduce you to Maccabee. He'll take it away from here. There's callaloo, aki, sweet potato, yam, banana, and tomato, cabbage, spinach, avocado, chocho, butter, bean, and cocoa, courgette, millet, plantain, rice, and peas, and pumpkin, mango, dates, and guava, chickpeas, and cassava, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower, onion, fennel, and cucumber, plum, pear, and papaya, aubergine, and sire, lime, lentils, and quinoa, home your bread, and home your flour, watercress, and okra, tofu, and sweet pepper, couscous, and carrot, broccoli, and coconut, peaches, apples, apricot, red fruit, jackfruit, sour sap, pistachios, cashews, and almond, walnut, peanut, also pecan, sesame seeds, some flour, lemon, orange, pineapple, and melon, bogo, Wheat and garlic, hijiki and rocket, pop and pomegranate, kiwi corn and turning berries, cherries and strawberries, beet your grape. See, there's a lot of foods you can eat. Okay, question number three. We've had what's your opinion on veganism. Now, what are your opinions on vegans? Amazing commitment. I respect it. Hmm. A vegan is just someone that tries to avoid harming animals. So would they also say amazing commitment? I respect it to someone that, let's say, was trying to avoid harming children? I think they have the right idea, says Sir Chicken Wing. 
I have no opinions on other people's diets. Do what you want, I'm not your mum. It's not a diet! I respect the vegans who don't try to force their vegan ways on others. Well, imagine the world from the perspective of a vegan. Billions of animals are painfully killed each year, and only 1% of the population gives a damn. I really don't care as long as you don't try to enforce it and gatekeep. As long as you respect my diet, then I'll respect yours. Let me tell you something right now, I will never respect you for wanting to abuse animals. Thanks to them, I will get more meat. They're okay, but please don't tell me I can't eat a beef if it's want. Vigoons and Vigals, we have made it to the very last sub, so now we can treat ourselves with a little bit of vegan circle jerk. Every time someone lies to you, $100 gets deposited to your bank account. What is the fastest way for you to get rich? Ask non-vegans if they care about animals. God once killed countless animals in cold blood whilst trying to kill sinners, which means vegans are morally superior to God himself. Don't believe the vegan propaganda. Here is actual footage of what goes on in my uncle's dairy farm. If you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on Earth could hear at once, what would it be? I'm vegan. Vegetables are actually fucking delicious. You guys just don't know how to cook. This one was actually posted by me, but I think I just stole it from Facebook or something. Bees, vomit. Chickens, have their period. Humans, is for me? If humans stopped abusing and eating animals, I wouldn't be here. Change my mind. Anybody would like to say something? I'm vegan. My friend explaining how oat milk tastes a bit too watery. The cows and their babies. You're gorgeous. What if I told you I used to be vegan? I think you were a bitch who lost all your morals. Dude, earlier I found out that someone I know abuses dogs by buying them from breeders and keeping them in metal cages and cutting off their tails and yanking out their teeth. I told him he really ought not to do that, and he said, stop forcing your opinions on me. Oh, sorry, my bad, I meant pigs. I'm sad to see them go, but thankful that my two cats sacrificed their lives for a beautiful family dinner. Trying to play with my cat, but she keeps hopping in the pan. Nothing can stop the circle of life. These animals feel honored to be protein. Miley Cyrus's drug dealer when he found out she is blaming veganism for all of her brain problems. Look at this tasty buffet. Ah, now look at this. Why don't we post pro-animal abuse comments, then change them to Earthling Ed slash Dominion links after they get massive upvotes. This is big brain time. The old Trojan horse routine, I like it. This guy must not be a vegan, he's too big brained and non-B12 deficient. I think perhaps we're gonna have to end our little trip to Reddit today with doing this idea, so I've come over to r slash me. Uh, hopefully I'm not already banned here, I don't know if I've been here before. But I'll, I'll leave a, a pro meat comment, and if I can get loads and loads of upvotes, I'll change it to a link to Dominion. If that's successful, or if it leads to some humorous replies, who knows, I might stick that in a future video or something if I run out of ideas. Phew, we did it. That's the longest video yet. If you enjoyed it, and let's be honest, you must have, or else you've just wasted 30 minutes of your life, please subscribe for more. We do memes, video essays, collabs, response videos, and other stuff. So if this is your first time on the channel, why not go take a look around? We're already getting close to 500 subscribers, so thank you so much to each and every one of you. It means a lot to me, and I feel vegans deserve more content online tailored to them, so let's make it happen. Until next time, peace.